So I'm Andy Smith, I'm a senior lecturer in forestry at Bangor University. Um, I lead a, a project looking at uh, sustainable intensification and enhancing agricultural productivity called uh, Multiland. Uh, for this project we have been investigating how trees uh, can be beneficial towards uh, livestock productivity. Um, and we have been doing uh, some, some modelling work, uh, examining how trees influence microclimates and how that can uh, potentially be beneficial to the kind of metabolism and physiology of the animal, increasing livestock productivity. So the data we've collected from this, uh, this research uh, has been used to develop uh, an, an app, it's currently a, a web-based app, uh, where you can select an area um, on, a, on a farm, uh, a field, and look at the potential benefits uh, to uh, livestock productivity from a microclimate point of view um, for placing trees uh, around, the, around the field to generate shelter. We're very pleased to be here at Paythis today. Uh, we're working with Innovis on an exciting project and over the next three years we're going to be gathering a lot of data looking at how we can integrate trees and shelter into the landscape which will be of benefit to not only the environment but of course to agricultural production. So we're really looking for a win-win. Shelter can provide benefits of course during lambing time and during the winter time but also during the summer as well. So they really are invaluable and they're not new. We've had shelter belts around for, for decades but possibly there's a renewed interest in them because we seem to be getting harsher winters and more extreme uh, weather events. And also there seems to be a move towards outdoor lambing as well as labour availability changes on farms and there is a drive to reduce costs of production. So I think we're almost going full circle and livestock shelter belts are very much uh, in, in interest again.